hello dear students in the previous video we have discussed with the phylums called as porifera silentrata tinophora and platyhelminthus so we have completed four phylums today we'll discuss with the new phylum that is phylum ascalimanthus okay how to pronounce ascalimanthus so now let's discuss with the basis of classification so where they found the animals of phylum Ascalimanthus, they may be free living or parasitic. Parasitic means paravalambi, they depend on other animals, okay. Free living means they are not depend on any animals, okay. And it may be aquatic or terrestrial, means Aquatic means near the name sigate or terrestrial means land area. Eredu region alu namge du kalniki sigate. And parasitic ali, they may be depend on plants or animals. Okay. So level of organization ali, they come under organ system level of organization. So meaning of these, you know, basis of classification, artha gelandre. You can go through the first video of our chapter okay body symmetry your body symmetry is bilateral symmetrical animals then they are triploblastic animals and are pseudo silomates so pseudo silomates yaudral matra barate phylum ascalimanthus ali matra barate previous phylum ali there was uh, phylum platyhelminthus that was come under a silomates okay here phylum ascalimanthus only the phylum which come under pseudo silomates clear next about the special features so border is thread like and it is cylindrical and unsegmented means thread like in the sense border is very thin here okay and cylindrical means like this cylinder shape alirate plus unsegmented if you study the next phylum that is annelida coming phylum only animals are segments agirate like this okay if you take the body of animal like this there you can see segments earthworms ere hulu allella iruttalva aa reethi segments irutte but here there is no such segment so hence it is unsegmented clear border is thread like cylinder like and unsegmented if you take the cross section idu ivaga worm andre idra cross section nodide cut maadi nodidre you can see you know circular form there so nimge circular form alli kaanisutte that is why these worms are also called as round worms okay in kannada dundu hula anta karithivi idakke clear and there is one more name for these worms called as nematodes okay so nematodes round worms ella ivak iruvanta names next is regarding with the digestive system here digestive system is complete what do you mean by complete digestive system so complete digestive system andre for example ee rithi worm idre ili mouth irutte ili anus irutte here is mouth and here is anus here intake of food takes place and here food will be released out so there will be two openings so such a digestive system is called as complete digestive system right and they have very strong pharynx why because the pharynx is muscular in nature okay so the animals who ask elementals a labor one to do they have very muscular you know pharynx next is regarding with the excretory system so here there will be many tubes like this inside the body okay so these tubes are called as excretory tubes and these excretory tubes they join together to form a pore like this and this pore is called as excretory pore clear so this is uh, how excretion takes place in the animals of phylum ascalimanthus in the previous phylum platyhelminthus only how excretion was done so excretion he got to through flame cells there was a specialized cells here as through excretory pores clear so 
this is uh, how excretion and digestion are different okay so excretory waste and digestive waste are different digestive waste which release through anus excretory waste which release through excretory pores clear i repeat with the special feature so body is thread like cylindrical and unsegmented so if you take the cross section it is circular in nature and hence it is called as round worms or nematodes so digestive system is here complete and they have muscular pharynx excretory system they have uh, excretory tubes they join together to form excretory pore okay so next is with the reproduction so here only sexual reproduction takes place there is no asexual reproduction here so here sexes are separate so we can easily distinguish between male worm and female worm clear so here sexes are separate hence it is called as they are dioecious anta karitteve if sexes are not separate means hermaphrodites alva so hermaphrodites are monoecious animals anta karitteve but here since sexes are separate here they are called as dioecious animals here how we can differentiate male and female worm as female worm is very long right so male worm is shorter than female worm and you can see you know curved structure at anal region of male worm so this is the difference between male ascaris and female ascaris hence it is called as the show sexual dimorphism andre sexual mean sexes male and female right di means to morphism morphology kelidi ra word means external appearance external appearance so by its external appearance or by its morphology we can distinguish two male and female sexes right so hence uh, this characteristic feature is called as they show sexual dimorphism anta karitivi right then fertilization so we have fertilization as internal so ili easy age nanu explain maadabodu what you mean by internal fertilization andre so in female worm there will be female gonophore like this so female gonophore is separate the excretory pore is uh, separate in excretory pore what happens the unwanted waste will be released out female gonophore alli enagutte the it is a gonad means here female gamete will be you know um, produced here male alu hage male gonophore anta irutte okay like this this is female gonophore this is male gonophore now during crossing over during reproduction what happens is the you know cross over each other while crossing over the sperms from the Uh, male gonophore it will transfer into the female gonophore okay so ill in the sperm a female gonophore enter enter agutte and there inside the body of the female gonophore there will be ovum right so sperm bandittu fertilize agutte so since the fertilization takes place inside the body of the female it is called as internal fertilization clear and next last one development so here in some animal they undergo direct development and some they undergo indirect development clear so last one is about examples before that we'll repeat once about reproduction here only sexual reproduction takes place sexes are separate hence it is called as dioecious animals so here females are longer than males and there is curved structure at the anal region of males they show sexual dimorphism the fertilization is internal and development is maybe direct or indirect example as i mentioned ascaris the common name is round worm idanna naavu jantu hula anta karitivi okay so ascalamanthus anna general age anta karitive generally we call it as dundu hula why because dundu girutte cylinder shape alli irutte that is why it is called as ನ ದುಂಡು ಹುಳ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ರೌಂಡ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಜಂತು ಹುಳ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕವರಿದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜಂತು ಹುಳಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಜೆಕ್
so this is the one so this ascaris which causes a disease called as ascariasis i'll write here it uh, causes ascariasis so for this injection could be want to help either okay next is vacheraria how to pronounce vacheraria the common name is filarial worm you might have heard about um, uh, anekalu roga kelidira what happens they the legs uh, they will swell it will look like elephant leg okay hence it is called as you know elephantiasis so vacheraria which causes a disease called as elephantiasis and the anekalu roga cause madutte okay so it is caused by vacheraria or filarial worm third example is encyclostoma how to pronounce encyclostoma commonly called as hook worm anta karithivi so the disease caused by these encyclostoma or uh, commonly called as hookworm infection or hookworm disease anta karithivi so barigalalli barefoot alli now mannalli you know naddadidre a uh, eggs hookworm with eggs they will enter into our body and it causes uh, fever of the infection clear so this is about examples it are disease bagge ning exam ge odlikilla just information kottide ashte so this is uh, all about phylum ascalement so next phylum is phylum annelida okay in kannada it is called as valayavantugalu they found in aquatic region it may be marine or fresh water or some are terrestrial animals or they may be free living or they may be parasitic so ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಜೀವನ ಶೈಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಇದು ಕಾಣಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ದೆ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫೈಲಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇವೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋದಾಗೆ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇದ್ದದ್ದು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ right then it was tissue level of organization then organ level of organization from this phylum it is organ system level of organization so body symmetry is bilateral symmetrical animals they are diploblastic and coelomates clear so this is about a basis of classification coming to the special features so your body is elongated and here segmentation is present so if you see the structure of uh, the animals which come under phylum annelida border is somewhat elongated and there is segments can you see the segments here okay so these segments are called as metameric segmentation en anta karteve ee tara segments idre this is called as metameric segmentation each segment ee tara segment idre okay each segment is called as metameer each segment anna navu metameer anta karithivi and if you see the structure of that segment it is somewhat ring like okay so hagagi annulus anta karithivi so a segment each segment structure nodidre ring tara irutte hence it is called as annular structure okay so since uh, uh, there is presence of annulus the name you know phylum or phylum name it is called as annelida here next is digestive system here digestive system is complete excretory system they have special structure called as nephridia nephridia with the help of nephridia the unwanted substances will be released out platyhelminthes alli flame cells anta ittu for excretion and ascalminthes alli in the previous uh, phylum there was what excretory pore for excretion in the animals of phylum annelida they have nephridia as excretory system next is about locomotion so they have <coughs> muscular system 
for locomotion there are two types of muscles present over there circular muscle and longitudinal muscles so circular muscles are circular in shape like this longitudinal muscles are from the mouth to the anus the structure longitudinal and for locomotion they have a special structure in it in the animals which come under aquatic aquatically barwanta animals for example neris neris is one of the example for marine water annelida okay so aquatic they have parapodia as locomotory structure can you see this picture okay so these are parapodia clear so parapodia for example those segments and the country each segment only one the pair hinger at the okay so hinger at the okay a pair of parapodia which will be present in each segment and terrestrial animals only like earthworms earthworm is one of the example for terrestrial annelida so in earthworm cell a special structure is present for locomotion which is called as sitae hang it at the end if this is a segment earthworm segment is there okay so these are called as sitae and it is ventral side so next is about circulatory system so here circulatory system is closed type and there will be blood capillaries inside which the blood will be circulating okay so here blood will be red in color because of the presence of hemoglobin clear so closed circulatory system and blood will be red in color because of the presence of hemoglobin next is about nervous system here you need to remember one you know word is they have double ventral nerve cord what do you mean by that double means two right ventral means so if this is animal this is dorsal side this is ventral side so this will be present on the ventral side nerve cord means there will be rod like a structure so can you see this black color one so if if this is animal so inside of which there will be double one two ventral nerve cord okay and in that there will be a bulged structure like this on nerve cord and these are called as ganglia clear and these ganglia are connected okay like this and there will be lateral nerves so these are the lateral nerves side alirathala lateral means side so the nerve present in the lateral side is called as lateral nerve so overall what is the function of nerve system so this is uh, already you know that the um, function of nervous system is it will sense the things right so idu prachodane ke pratikriya kodutte means uh, they give response to the stimulus clear so that is the main function of nervous system next is about reproduction here only sexual reproduction takes place so some animals are monoecious animals and some are dioecious animals monoecious animals andre uh, hermaphrodites anta kalthidvi how the last video dalli so hermaphrodites are nothing but single animal which produce both male and female gamete such animals are called as hermaphrodites or it is also called as monoecious so here earthworm and leech they are monoecious animals okay whereas nearies which is dioecious animals here male gamete and female gametes will be produced by two different animals next is about fertilization so the animals which come under aquatic region they undergo external fertilization means where sperm and egg fusion takes place outside the body in water in terrestrial animals the fertilization is internal means inside the body fusion of sperm and egg takes place next is about development here direct and indirect development takes place means in some animals there will be larval stage in some animal there will be direct development so this is about the 
very pro-action clear so since uh, they exhibit organ system level of organization you should explain all the organ systems like digestive system it is complete right excretory system they have nephridia circulatory system it is closed type nervous system they have double ventral nerve cord they consist of ganglia which is interconnected and they have lateral nerves about reproduction only sexual reproduction takes place here some are monoecious and some are dioecious fertilization in aquatic animals it is external in terrestrial animal it is internal development is some they exhibit direct development some they exhibit indirect development so at last you need to write examples alva so examples so ferritima ferritima postuma it is a scientific name of earthworm practical classes only scientific names so study maadlikirutte so here you can just remember you know ferritima a common name of course earthworm next example hirudunaria how to pronounce hirudunaria so this is the scientific name of leech okay so leech is nothing but it is a blood sucking animal you can say in a forest and all in ghat region alsala ee leech nam kaal gankondu it will suck the blood okay so uh, easy agi adu nam body inda detach agala correct ah so kelavarige idu experience kuda agirabodu so since they suck blood they are called as blood sucking annelida anta karithive okay so next is um, example is nereus so nereus is aquatic hirudunaria leech is a ectoparasite okay earthworm as terrestrial annelida so by now we have completed how many phylums we have completed porifera phylum cilentrata phylum tenophora platyhelminthes askelminthes and annelida so six phylum helige complete aitu now uh, we will have a quick revision so till now we have uh, studied so many phylums so words so examples so special structures ella confusion agirutte so adanna neat agi step by step for phylums so evolution aagta iddage adanna odidi and now i'll tell you the examples you need to remember the phylum ಈ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸು ಯಾವ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಅಂಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಯೋಚಿಸಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರಾ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಸೀಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ಲ್ಯೂರೋಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕಿಯ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ದೆ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಟಿನೋಫೋರಾ ಬಾತ್ ಸ್ಪಾಂಜ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಒರಿಫೇರಾ ಒರೇಲಿಯಾ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಸೀಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ಒಬೇಲಿಯಾ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಸೀಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ Venetula, which commander, think mad bit to, you can see mad, I'll give uh, the time, each time, which commander, which file a month, kill the name, now again, you think mad, you're back, okay? Penatula, it also commander, cylentrata, you spongia, which commander, porifera, planaria, which commander, platyhelminthes, right? And cyclostoma, which commander, askelminthes. earthworm which come under phylum annelida cycon which come under phylum porifera tenoplana come under which phylum phylum tenophora leech come under phylum annelida ascaris come under phylum askelminthes liver flu come under phylum platyhelminthes spongilla come under phylum porifera nereis which come under phylum annelida physelia come under phylum cilentrata sea fan which come under phylum cilentrata vecheraria which come under phylum askelminthes coral which come under phylum cilentrata adamsia is also come under phylum cilentrata so you should able to answer like this okay quick agi example yavudu anta yochan maadbittu phylum anna tick maadbeku okay so now i'll tell you the some of the structure you should remember or recall to which phylum it belongs to okay 
ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪಾಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೆಡ್ಯೂಸಾ ನಾನು ತಂದಾಗ ಏನು ನೆನ್ಪು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ಓಕೆ ಆಸ್ಟೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರಾ ಕೊಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಕೊಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಟಿನೋಫೋರಾ ಫ್ಲೇಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲಿಮೆಂಥಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟರಿ ಫೋರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲಮೆಂಥಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಡೈಮಾರ್ಫಿಸಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲಮೆಂಥಸ್ ನೆಫ್ರೀಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅನೆಲಿಡಾ ವಾಟರ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರಾ ಬಯೋಲಿಮಿನಿಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟಿನೋಫೋರಾ ನೀಡೋಬ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ಕೈನೋಸೈಟಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರಾ ಫ್ಲಾಟೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಯಾವ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮೆಂಥಸ್ ಮೆಟಾಮೆರಿಕ್ ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಟಾಮೆರಿಕ್ ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಅನೆಲಿಡಾ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಅಂಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರಾ ದ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಸ್ಪಾಂಜರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ಇಸ್ ನಿಟೇರಿಯಾ ಟಿನೋಫೋರಾ ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸಿ ವಾಲ್ನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೋಮ್ಜೆಲ್ಲಿಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲಮೆಂಥಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲಮೆಂಥಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಫೈಲಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈಲ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋಡಾ ಸೊ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋಡಾ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟರ್